Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy today. I got some exciting news, baby. Hope y'all missed me. Been gone way too long, but we always kept it pumping in the Patreon. Cut! We tried to upload this video yesterday, but the audio quality was absolutely wretched. But we got the microphone working now. So I figured what I shot yesterday, combine it with today, we ought to have a pretty bomb video. So let's go! What we're going to talk about is the business.site. Huge debate in the SEO community if these even work. If you use them, are these actually going to help your GMB ranking? Should you build backlinks to them or iframe them and other properties? Can you get these things to even rank? Do these help your Google Maps listing or your website if you build them out properly? So many questions in so little time. First, I want to tell you how I've utilized these and found success in the past. And I've primarily done that three ways. Number one, utilizing these as an indexing tool. It's a Google property. Google will crawl it more often than not. Number two, I use these to connect out to other branded entities or properties. I want to show Google my brand across the entire internet. Actually working on a project where we dive super deep into growing your brand across the entire internet. I feel this is the future of SEO. And lastly, number three is to build some type of geographical relevancy. Now, occasionally you can get these ranked for low to medium competition keywords. You do have some options as far as URL customization, some headers, and a little bit of content. But that's not what I'm here to talk to you about today. Today, we are going to go into the business.site you had no idea you had. Okay, so here is the business.site for KOG Roofing. And as you can see, the URL is Fort Worth Roofing Contractor.Business.site. I'm sure that the vast majority of GMB owners marketers or seos knows there's nothing to see here right but there is another version of this site on the google root domain and yes if you have a dot business dot site you have a hidden google website don't worry i'll show you how to get the url drum roll please and here you go as you can see we've got business.google.com forward slash website forward slash fort worth roofing contractor and it's exactly the same. URL reminds me a lot of a Google site, but it's just instead of site.google.com, it's business.google.com. Now, theoretically, this is going to be much more powerful, per se, than your regular business.site. But the key is getting this new URL index. But first, I'm going to show you how to get this URL. It's super easy. Go to your business.site and grab the domain. Do not grab .business.site or the HTTPS, okay? And you're going to drop it in the end of this URL. Every person that has said that it didn't work, I had them send me their business.site and it worked. So I have yet to find one that does not work. And we will copy, paste, there we go. Voila. Depending on where you're at in the world and when you signed up for your Google My Business listing, you may already have a business.google.com site. And if that is the case, this is also reversible. You have a business.site that you don't know about. But what I thought was cool was the amount that were actually indexed and the amount of traffic they were actually getting. All right, and if you do a site search, you can see that there's an absolute ton of them that are listed. You can niche down to your city or, or your state um, and take a look at these that are indexed. But what I want to touch on here is the canonical tags and you're going to see it a couple different ways. But how you have your GMB set up is going to dictate where it goes. So we take a look at the first listing. Let's see what the canonical tag tells us. And you can see the canonical is pointing to their website. All right, here's another one. It's the, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, Mexican Grill here in Florida. Let's take a look at the canonical tag and it's pointing to the business dot side this is going to probably be the vast majority of you all that are watching this video this is your situation now getting an index is not difficult at all whatsoever or it hasn't been in my case but here's the trick once you get it indexed even though the canonical tag is pointing at the business.site your business.google site will take its place even though both URLs will be indexed. So recently we did a press release and we iframed this website with a plumbing client of mine on the West Coast. This new business 
Google.com site is ranking number three for his branded search. Currently outranking Facebook, Angie's List, Thumbtack. So I think these might have a little bit more juice. I'm gonna go to the 24 hours ago meme and finish it off. And not that domain rating is everything, but a domain of 92 isn't bad. It was just like a Google site, right? If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to answer you. We got them even deeper into the Patreon and I show you how we utilize this with a new hack that we just discovered using Pinterest. If you're not a part of the Patreon, I don't know what you're doing with your life. And lastly, to all the little boys that like to replicate what your boy does. Here you go, guys. Good luck. Chris Bummer. <clears throat> That's all I got for you. Peace.